Welcome back to Minecraft for Life. I'm Nishana. Today we are building the Roger Federer logo. So this might not be the best to mention in a Roger Federer logo tutorial, but I didn't say this in my Rafa Nadal logo tutorial. On Tennis Channel, it was playing one of the greatest, if not the greatest, tennis match of all time, the 2008 Men's Singles Wimbledon title between Rafa and Roger. At first I was like, is this a replay? And then I saw that Rafa actually had hair, so I was like, oh yes, this is definitely a replay. It didn't actually say on the screen that it was the Wimbledon final, probably because it was like 2008. But um, I knew that this was historic because years ago I'd seen on TV like the greatest tennis matches of all time. It was like this match. I was like, I knew this was definitely meaningful. And it was in four sets. It was the fourth set. And uh, Rafa was like up 5-2 in the tiebreaker. I was like, hold on. this. I have a feeling this was in five sets. Like if it was a historic match, it's got to be in five sets. And yes, Roger Federer kept coming back and it ended up going to a fifth set. And it even got to the point where he was one game away, uh, away from winning. And I, it, it was it was truly a battle for the ages. I've never seen two players hit harder than that. I've never seen like them desperately get to the ball and keep the point alive like they, like they did. As a tennis player, that's what I aspire to be. I really want to be that kind of player. And it, it just, it was so amazing to watch. I know it was a replay, but I, I had to like look up who won because I just couldn't stand the pressure. It was... It was amazing. Yes, Rafa ended up winning, but like, what you should get from this match is however you feel about those two players, you just gotta know they are one of a kind, and there's two, they're at least two of the three best tennis players of all time. You gotta include Djokovic, but uh, they're they're so amazing, and we'll never forget them because of their legacy. And Rafa even admitted if like that win, that was his first ever Wimbledon win, and it basically jump-started his career, and he is now the king of the clay with all the French Open titles he's won. I, I really have nothing more to say. I'm just repeating the same stuff. It was amazing. There's such great tennis players. Go watch Tennis Channel. <laughs> with all that being said, even though Federer was not the winner of this match, we gotta build his logo, because I built Rafa's logo. I gotta build his. Maybe I should build Djokovic's logo. No joke. Get it? Novak Djokovic. Oh, whatever. Let's just get into the video. As always, please help me reach my goal, which is inspiring people to build logos in Minecraft, just like Jaybro's Gaming inspired me. Enjoy. So all we're going to need is gold block or whatever color you want. So we're going to start by putting three down. And I'm going to go to the right first, going up, of course. Two to the right. Two blocks up. Then one more block to the left. Now we're going to go back down and we're going to put two to the left. And going back up, we're going to put one block. Then we're going to put, oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. Two up and then five up. Now we're going to put two up twice. One, two. Then we're going to put four blocks, four blocks, four blocks up, whatever. Now to the right, we're going to put two to the right. Then we're going to put two blocks up. Then we're going to put two up, so it's, it's different. Then we're going to put three up. One, two, three. And to the left, we're going to put two up again, followed by three individual blocks. Now two to the left, then three to the left, and then six to the left. Okay, so... Three, four, five, six. So now we're going to take the second last block, and under that we're going to put three. Now we're going to go down, of course, two to the right. Then it's going to be two blocks down, and then two down. Then it's going to be four down. And then to the left, we're going to put two down, then two individual blocks down, so it's like reversed. Then two to the right, sorry, to the left, my mistake, not to the right, to the left. So now we're going to put four to the left after that. And under the second to last block, we're going to put four, so not three, but four. And this is to the right. So now still going down, two to the right, two down, two blocks down, then two down, and then four down twice. One, two and then two down again, and then once again, two individual blocks down. So great, we got our the majority of our logo completed. So now we're gonna take this, the center block, I guess, 
But you see this block right here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I did not mean to delete that. But to the right of that, we're going to skip six. Okay, and from the seventh, so the seventh is, is basically going to be our first block, and we're going to put four to the right of that to make five, and then we're going to go up, put two blocks up, so we've definitely seen this a lot, and we've also seen this a lot, four up or four down, but like four, four up this time, and now we're going to do the same thing, but vertically, so take the second to last block we put, and then under that, we're going to put 11 more to make 12, and I guess you can put one block down to the left and then put three more on top of that to make it four like how it was in the other one. And then we're going to go to the left, put two more individual blocks. And we're going to take the second of the five and put four under it. Okay, so hopefully my narration wasn't so confusing like it usually is. And now it's time to do the final part. So you see the top layer or top row. So now to the right of that, we're going to skip 10, okay? And our 11th block is going to be our first, basically. So, okay, now we have one, and we're going to put 14 to the right to make 15. Yes, you heard that right. I like to split it up into seven twice. So now directly under, we're going to put seven more to make eight. And just like with the other part, you can put one block down to the left and then three more on top of that. And then to the left, you're going to put two individual blocks up followed by two to the left. And then you're going to put, I don't know exactly how many, but you're going to stop at the second block. Okay, so there you guys have it. All you need to do is just color it in gold blocks. So I'm going to follow the alternation this time. So last time I did show myself coloring it in. I'm not going to do it this time just because I'm lazy, and uh, I'll see you when it's done. And there you have it. The Roger Federer logo is finished. Now, I should have said this in the intro, but another reason why I built this and why I'm kind of a fan of Roger Federer is because my dad is literally head over heels in love with his backhand, and that's why he was my favorite player for like most of my younger years when I didn't watch tennis as much. I still don't watch tennis a lot, which I should be, because that can also help me improve my game, but... Whatever. Uh, Roger Federer is a great player. I, I do believe Nadal is the GOAT, but you know you cannot underestimate or undermine how great and legendary Roger Federer is. So with that, signing off. Go watch Wimbledon. Uh, starts tomorrow. Um, wonder who will win, as I said in my other video.